Hey everybody, this is Matt here with Shaving the Day, um, and we have a different type of video for you today. Um, it's going to be an unboxing of some shaving gear that was sent to me by Joe Labrada. Um, his YouTube name is Elemental Hero Joe. He's a subscriber to my channel, and he was kind enough to reach out to me and <clears throat> send me some shaving gear. And from what I can tell, it's an extremely, extremely, extremely generous uh, gift that he sent me wouldn't even let me pay for shipping <clears throat> and this came to me all the way across the country and uh, the shipping is not cheap so um, this is just super 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 generous um, I'm very excited to open it this is actually box one of two that he sent me um, they're arriving separate so one is arriving for me tomorrow um, but he just said this was a gift to me um, in support of my channel and I plan on using this gear uh, to inspire others and um, continue to create content, um, you know, review different products, get some different products out there <clears throat> on YouTube that may not have any reviews or anything like that. Um, but this is just super, super generous. I'm blown away by um, his kindness and really everyone who's been supporting my channel. I'm very, very thankful for all the support. Um, I love this hobby. Um, and I want to try and introduce as many people to it as I can because it's made a difference for me, brings me a lot of happiness, it made me enjoy shaving, um, what was once a very annoying part of my routine is now kind of a zen-like experience where I can relax and unwind and, um, <clears throat> yeah, I hope to share this with as many people as possible and, um, yeah, without... Any further ado, let's get started, and I'm very excited to open this first box, and I will show you guys everything um, as I pull it out, and I'll let you know my thoughts on it. So like I said, uh, this is actually box one of two, which is insane, the amount of shaving gear that he has uh, sent to me. Just unbelievable, super, super special gesture. Um, yeah, again, Elemental Hero Joe, extremely, extremely nice guy. I hope to continue connecting with him and talking to him um, and just learning more about different shaving gear. And yeah, so I will be doing a separate video for the second box after it arrives tomorrow. And the box is open. First impressions, wow. I see just loads and loads of stuff in here. I'll show you a top-down view. Oh, actually, I, yeah, I will show you a top-down view. All right, guys, here is the top-down view. As you can see, there's several soaps sitting there right on top and many more beneath, it seems like. And so I'll just pull out some stuff one by one and talk about it and let you know what I think. All right, let's start to look at some of these products. So first here, I see Cucumber Melon Shave Soap by Uncle John's, made in Berlin, Maryland. Let's see. Got a nice label on there. Never heard of Uncle John's, but Cucumber Melon sounds like a nice scent. Hmm. Yeah, definitely get the cucumber right away very cucumber forward but it does blend together nicely it's nice fresh scent and it's kind of a yeah seems like more of a well it's it's a soft soap but it kind of came loose like a puck um so i could probably just lather right off of the um soap right there but very fresh scent one that i think would go great for the summer so that's awesome let's see pipe smoke Again, by Uncle John's Shave Soap. Uh, same logo, just different color. Let's see what this smells like. Mmm. That smells delicious. Like, it smells like a, like, floral tobacco. I think I'm getting hints of vanilla. Um, it actually smells super similar to um, Sterling Soap's Haverford, which I also have. 
Um, I love that. It smells very similar, and I love Haverford, um, so that's awesome. I love that. Looks like there's one more Uncle John sitting on the top here. Fresh Roast, and this label has coffee beans on it. Oh, wow. That literally smells like a freshly brewed cup of coffee. That's amazing. Wow, and I think maybe I'm picking up even like a hint of hazelnut or something. I could be wrong. That smells so good. Like, I, I literally could pour that in a cup and drink it. It smells not just like a cup of coffee, like definitely not a burnt cup of coffee. It smells like a deliciously brewed cup of coffee. I love that. Wow, I am just blown away by this. I'm, there's three soaps right there, and I'm still on the surface of the first box. And I see probably like eight more right here. I'm blown away. So, Joe, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. This is unbelievably kind. I don't even know what to say. I don't even have words for this. This is crazy. Um, I just hope that I can continue to introduce people to the hobby, um, continue to make content um, that you guys enjoy, and that, yeah, I can use these things in some videos. And, um, yeah, I, I, don't even, I don't feel deserving of this. This is just way too kind i'm blown away so again joe thank you so so much all right let's see here we got some Proraso white pre-shave which yep smells exactly like the Proraso white that i have um that's amazing because i don't have the pre-shave um so this will go perfectly with uh the soap that i have smells exactly the same uh, I'm looking forward to using it. I know people really enjoy the Parasso pre-shave, so I'm looking forward to that. Let's see here. We got Katie's Bubbles Purple Grapefruit, a relaxing blend of lavender and grapefruit. I have not tried any Katie's Bubbles. I have smelled some at Maggard's. Um, I picked up some of the containers and smelled them, and they all smelled really nice. Um, I haven't used any yet, so I'm excited to try it because I know a lot of people really enjoy it. Hmm. Wow. Definitely a fresh floral scent. Um, I'm getting more of the lavender coming through first than the grapefruit. Um, I have the Taylor Revolt Bond Street grapefruit shaving cream sample, and that's like super grapefruit heavy. This smells a little more lavender forward, which I love. Um, but it blends together really nicely. Again, I think that would be an awesome spring summer scent. Amazing. Let's see right here. Um, lavender is one of my favorite scent profiles ever. Like, it's just amazing. I love the scent of lavender blended into different things. So, um, let's continue with that theme. We've got Sterling Soap Company Bergamot Lavender which I actually have smelled at Maggard's again, and I, I loved it. I just wasn't able to pick it up then, but it's amazing to have it now. Wow. That is beautifully blended. That smells so good. Again, perfect spring scent. I love it. This is, this is unbelievable, guys. I'm blown away. I, I mean, this is way more here in this box than I probably have in my whole shave den so far and there's another box coming tomorrow so I just feel very very fortunate and I want to use this as an opportunity to introduce others to the hobby share um pay it forward um just sharing the kindness that Joe has um started here so again Joe thank you so so much I see quite a few sterling beneath the surface of all these packing peanuts. Um, this is very nicely packaged, by the way. Um, yeah, I can tell that you put a ton of thought and care into this box, and I'm very, very appreciative of it. We got some more Sterling Tangerine. Oh, wow. That smells like I just cut open a tangerine. It's fresh, just, a great citrus scent, and I love citrus. I absolutely love citrus. Um, 
so amazing and this is perfect because the weather's finally starting to get warmer here so I look forward to using these um, or spring summer types of scents um, yeah coming up in the next few weeks and months all right let's see here we've got sterling witchy woman which I've seen on sterling's website um, as I've looked for different scents that my fiance may like if she ends up wanting to try any um, so let's give this a smell Hmm, I'm not sure what the scent notes are on this, but it smells really nice. Kind of floral, but also kind of dark. Um, and even though it says witchy woman, I don't think it's necessarily a like feminine scent. I think it's very universal. I think anybody who enjoys it should can and should wear it. Um, so I, you know, I probably won't even use it myself. Maybe it smells great. Let's see here. I have Sterling Sharp Dressed Man, which smells great. I believe this is, um, I believe this is Creed Green Irish Tweed, or yeah, I think it's Green Irish Tweed. Um, yeah, I believe Matthew Lawrence sent me this not too long ago. Um, let me check real quick and I will come back. All right, guys. Yeah, I checked, and this is the uh, soap that Matthew Lawrence sent me, so I now have two of them. So that means I will be paying it forward um, to someone who wants to try it or someone that I'm trying to introduce to the hobby. Um, you know, I don't have a need for two of them at the moment. So, um, yeah, it smells great. It's a dupe of uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed, and really really fresh scent classic cologne scent that has been adored by many for years so that's awesome let's see here staying on the top of the box let's see here okay i have pumpkin 3.14 so pumpkin pie old time shaving soap uh, this is the original ck1 uh formula from phoenix shaving and there's the label there. I do not have any CK1 soap. I have one CK6 soap. Um, I've been looking forward to trying CK1, the original formula, and I love pumpkin pie, so I'm excited to smell this. Oh, wow. That smells just like a piece of pumpkin pie straight out of the oven. Like, I'm picking up cinnamon, nutmeg, I don't know if it's allspice. Um, it smells delicious. Like I, I love scents that smell like food. Not not all of them, but you know, like the gourmand sweet scents. Like I love like sweet cherry almond types of scents, and this is fantastic. I'm very excited to try this, and I would love to use this in the fall, um, especially around Thanksgiving. So that's awesome. Let's see here another Phoenix. Artisan accoutrements soap, Dapper Docks Lilac and Fig shaving soap. I've seen this in Shaves of the Day from several different people. I uh, never really looked into it too much, but Lilac and Fig sounds like it probably smells great to me. Wow. They're really, Phoenix shaving, like, Doug Smythe just does such a great job with his scents and the way he blends them together is just beautiful. Ingredients that I never would dream of knowing about or thinking that they would go together. That is a beautiful spring summer scent. I love that. Love it. This is this is just unbelievable, guys. I'm I'm seriously I like it's hard for me to even put into words what I'm feeling because I just I, I, like I said, I don't even feel like I deserve this. This is just so, so much, and it, this isn't even half of it. Um, I'm blown away. This is, this is crazy. Let's see, I see some more sterling soaps in here. Ooh, iced coffee with menthol. Let's see. Ooh, wow. 
and it smells very very similar to the other coffee scent that I showed you earlier from Uncle John's like the coffee's coming through very similar notes and then you get that kick of menthol and um, I wouldn't have thought of adding menthol to this one but you know what it works you know it's iced coffee so it makes sense that you're gonna have like menthol and a cooling feeling on your face so that would be a great summer scent for those hot months let's see here looks like I'm probably about halfway through what's in this box so um yeah again tomorrow I'll do another video for the next box as it comes but this is just unbelievable I mean I I I I'm almost in tears like this is just so so kind and I, I know I keep saying that but I just need you guys to understand um this is just an amazing gesture okay sterling soap red delicious so I'm assuming an apple scent which sounds awesome wow it's crazy how accurate these scents that these artisans are going for can get them like I mean that literally you know when you bite into an apple and you just you hear feel that crunch and it might even like spray a little bit of the juice around your mouth as you're biting into it like that's the experience that I get when I smell that soap like I literally am imagining myself biting into an apple it feels that real that is insane guys this is this is crazy I I, I don't even know what to say. Okay, let's see here. I have What the Puck. It's shaving soap. Um, I believe this is from, yeah, Razor Rock. It says Orange Sunrise. Um, orange is one of my favorite scents, so this is very exciting to, to smell this one. Oh, that's so fresh. Yeah, definitely the orange coming through, but it, it smells almost like a creamsicle. Like, I don't know if there's any vanilla or cream or anything in there. There may not be, but it smells like beyond just orange. It's super, super fresh. Um, and it's a soap puck, which I don't have very many, excuse me, very many of. Um, and I enjoy using them, lathering off the puck. Um, I have an apothecary mug that I can put it in or um, something else in. So I don't really have many pucks. I think I really only have like Williams, the mug soap that just got discontinued and um, a Colonel Conk's Amber puck that I actually melted down into the mug. So this will be really cool to try. And staying with that theme, I see another one right here. It is what the puck. Again, this is green, I believe. I'm colorblind, so if that's not green, Forgive me, this one I'm assuming is orange because of the scent, but this looks green to me. And I think I'm right because it says Lime Burst. You can see that, so let's give this a try. Wow. Wow, you could just throw that in a bottle of Corona. It's beautiful lime scent. I didn't realize how much of an appreciation I have for citrus scents, especially lime. Um, very, very underrated um, scent. So that's awesome. And this must be like a soap trifecta or something because here's a third one. What the puck? And I believe this is blue. Yes, blue barbershop. I love barbershop scents. You know, they can be so different um, from artisan, artisan, or whoever's take on it that created it. Um, but I just love them because they just, they bring you back. I mean, I I didn't really grow up in the era of barbershops and I've really only been to a few, but um, I always love just classic, clean scents like that. That's exactly what this is. Um, I'm definitely not a perfumist or an expert with scents, um, scent profiles, but I would say that's definitely smells like a classic, like aquatic barbershop-y type scent. Maybe there's some like basil in there or something, um, but it's super clean and fresh. You know, you could pair this with, with anything clean and fresh. It would 
go really well together. That smells awesome. So that is awesome to have these three um, what the puck shaving soaps. Let's see here. Wow, actually there's more in here than, than I initially thought. Um, yeah, this is, this is crazy. Let's see. Okay, another Katie's Bubbles shaving soap called Water Liptus. Watermelon, eucalyptus, and peppermint. Watermelon is my favorite fruit um, to eat, and I love how it smells too, so that's awesome. Seems interesting to pair it with eucalyptus and peppermint, but I bet you this is going to be a banger of a combination. Let's see. Hmm. It smells just like those. Um, uh, I'm from West Michigan. There's a big Dutch community here. There's these Wilhelmina uh, peppermint uh, mints that are at most grocery stores around here. Um, just a very powdery peppermint smell. That comes off super strong off the puck. And then I get the eucalyptus. And then at the at the base, I get a little bit of watermelon. And I'm guessing once it's lathered up that that probably comes through stronger. But that smells really, really nice. I'm wondering if maybe there's some menthol in there. Or maybe they don't need menthol because I'm sure the peppermint oil will kind of provide that cooling effect as well. But that's, that's awesome. I'm excited to try that too. All right, let's keep going. Uh, this video is getting really long, so I'm trying to not spend too much time talking about everything, but um, yeah, I've just got to accept it's going to be a, a longer video because there's a lot to go through here. Let's see. Sterling soap again. Scott's Pine Sheep. So I'm guessing this is um, a soap that has mutton tallow in it as opposed to regular tallow because it's the sheep soap. Um, I know Sterling has a couple soaps like that and I've never tried them so I'm excited to see any difference in performance with that uh, mutton tallow. But let's give it a smell. Hmm. Wow. That's just like walking through a forest. Like, I mean it doesn't smell like the traditional pine tree I would say. I don't know you know, what kinds of pine trees smell different, um, but it's definitely like a pine, like coniferous scent that you would get from like grabbing some pine needles and holding them up to your nose. It's very clean and fresh. Awesome. Let's see here. All right, Sterling again, Baker Street. And this is from Sterling Soap and the Strop Shop. Um, Correct me if I'm wrong if you're watching this video, but I believe that this one is based off of like Sherlock Holmes or something. Maybe there's like, I, I think there's like a Baker Street something in the Sherlock Holmes world. Um, I believe that's what this was created in reference to, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's a different soap. Let's give it a smell. I know a lot of people really like this one. Hmm. That's super, super clean and fresh too. And you know what? I have no idea what scent notes are in this. Maybe I'll look it up later on. Um, but it, it smells kind of similar to the last one, even though I'm not really sure there's any pine in it, but it's just clean, fresh. Like, you know, I would, if I didn't know what the name was, I might even think that was like a barbershop scent. Maybe it's supposed to be a barbershop scent. I'm not sure, but it smells nice. This is just unreal, guys. Like, I, I I, can't even imagine how much time and energy Joe put into, you know, getting this all together, packaging it up safely, sending it my way. He paid for all the shipping, wouldn't let me pay for shipping, and the shipping was expensive, so this is just unreal. And there's still a few things left in this box, so I don't even know what to say. Let's see here. Mmm. Old Spice Lather Shaving Cream in the Tube, which I've seen in many shaves of the day and have always wanted to try. This is the original. It smells just like, you know, how I imagine Old Spice. And I do have the aftershave, so I can pair it with that. 
this I think a lot of people like to use in travel shaves. It's already in a tube. So that's awesome. I do not have any creams in a tube. Um, and the fact that you can lather this with a brush is awesome. Hmm. Okay, and here's a pairing to that. The same thing, but in fresh lime, which I've also seen a lot. And again, like I said, I really am developing an appreciation for lime scents. So let's give this one a try. I have to squeeze it a little bit. Wow. That's just ridiculously fresh. Again, citrusy, beautiful lime scent. I've yet to smell a lime scented soap that I didn't like. Um, I'm sure there are some out there, but I have yet to find them. So awesome to have two more options for travel shaves too. All right, there's just a few things left. Let's see. Oh, awesome. Paraso Green Pre-Shave, which is coincidentally the only other Paraso scent that I have. So that pairs well again. While it smells strong with the menthol and eucalyptus. That's awesome. I'm excited to give that a try. I am sensitive to menthol. Um, when I use the Phoenix Tube 2.0 on my face, that is about as much as I can bear. It makes me just blink repeatedly. My eyes water, but it sure is a good pre-shave. So I'm interested to compare how strong the menthol is in that compared to um, the tube. Um, but regardless of how strong it is, I'm still going to use it because you know what? It helps. All right, Phoenix. This is CK1 formula again. Um, Atomic Age Bay Rum. And before I open this, um, I think normally I tend to not like Bay Rum scents too much, at least the ones that I have smelled, because um, I think it's like a lot of them have a heavy clove in them, and I'm not too big on clove, but I know Doug Smythe is renowned for his, oops, it's, wait, no, that was the right way up, his uh, Bay Rum scents, and he has many different variations of it that people just rave about, so... I'm going into this with a very open mind, and I think there's a good chance I'll really enjoy it. Atomic Age Bay Rum. Mmm. You know what? Forget anything I said about Bay Rums, as long as this is in question, because that's beautiful. It's just blended together. If there's clove in there, you know... It's probably coming through a little bit, but it's not overpowering like some of the other ones I've smelled. It's just beautiful. It it almost smells similar to that pumpkin pie um, soap. I'm sure there's some elements of spices in there that, you know, are the same between the two soaps, but that's awesome. I, I love that. Love it. All right. And I believe this is the last item in this box. Let's see, Ariana and Evans, which I don't have any of their soaps, but I have smelled them and enjoyed what I have smelled. Um, this is, which one's pink? Some interesting artwork here with a kind of hot air balloon with a pig on it. Um, so I'm not sure what this is supposed to smell like. I'll probably do some research and look it up online. Um, but I know people love Ariana and Evans uh, soap and the base that they created. I'm not sure what it's called. Um, but yeah, let's give this last one a try. Hmm. I have no idea what that's supposed to smell like. All I can say is it's nice. Um, I really... I enjoy it. I don't. I don't know what the scent notes are. Um, it's fresh. It's clean. I know I'm probably overusing that word fresh um, for some of these soaps, but it smells clean. I'm excited to give it a try. I love trying different artisans, and um, yeah, wow, guys, this video is probably really long. Um, I'm just blown away. This this is box one again of two, and Joe, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for this. I really appreciate it. Um, I will send you this video as soon as I get it uploaded. Um, 
and to all my subscribers and people following the channel, supporting the channel, leaving comments and, and likes. I appreciate you guys so much. I'm doing this for you. Um, I'm doing this just out of enjoyment for me um, and getting other people into the hobby, sharing uh, my thoughts on things. Um, you know, the wet shaving community is just so, so kind and I've only experienced just pure kindness from people. Um, advice, gifts, um, just lending things um, to try. Uh, it's just crazy how the people in this community just come together and support each other and I've been just blown away by everything and I don't even know what to say. This is just unbelievable. I don't feel deserving of it, but I hope that I will show Joe um, that I will be using this um, to inspire others to pick up the hobby, to give things a try, um, to show him that I will be paying it forward to others and trying to spread that kindness that he shared with me. Um, that's just so important in this, in this community um, to have each other's backs and to just lift each other up because it, it is just shaving, but it is a hobby that many of us enjoy that brings us happiness, even in dark times. Um, and that's something that you really, really can't put a price on. And so I'm just so, so thankful for you guys and your support on this channel. Um, again, I'm very thankful. I'm over 50 subscriber, subscribers now. Um, my next goal is 100. And I will hopefully be doing some giveaways soon in the future. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you, guys.